And in order to attain your boot mode key, you're gonna need to go to keysmortarsports.com and actually buy boot mode for your car, in which case you're given a license key for your actual purchase. In addition, you're gonna need your laptop. You can either use an Apple or a PC. And then also you will need a ethernet to OBD2 cable in order to connect this laptop to your ECU. All right, so we are in the car and this is the actual OBD2 to ethernet cable. This side is gonna plug into your ethernet port on your computer. And then this is gonna actually plug into your OBD2 port, which is right where your feet are on the left-hand side. And then you're good. You're gonna go ahead and open up the boot mode. There's a link in that email that takes you right to boot mode. Exactly what you need to do. You'll see right here, uh, it asks you to download the agent. So download Windows or your Mac agent. And what you, well, obviously for me, I did the Mac. If you have Windows, you'll, you'll do the Windows one. And then once you do that, uh, it's gonna download the application for you. We're gonna go ahead and open up the boot mode application. First of all, we're gonna put the car in accessory mode. If you don't know how to do that, all you do is get in the car with your key fob nearby, hit the start stop once, your car, all the lights turn on, you are now in accessory mode. And this is the mode that you need to be in in order to tune the car. You're also gonna to wanna to make sure that your seat belt is fastened. So now you'll see that boot mode OBD2 agent is up and it's searching for my car. We're gonna let it do its thing. So we have the boot mode agent uh, hooked up. Everything is good. That just kind of runs in the background and then we're gonna hop back to the boot mode website. So what we need to do is we need to register this. We need to add the car in. Activation key. So your activation key is in the email that you were sent when you were confirmed your purchase. And then once you put that in, you just hit activate and it says, please wait. Success, so we're good. We have that connected. OBD2 connected, looks good, looks good. I'm gonna hop into my vehicle, identify vehicle. I think we're good. So now once we have everything connected, obviously you can see it says BM3 OBD connected. I'm gonna go into OTS maps because that's what I wanna be doing. Now you'll see two different ones for stage one. I'm just running stage one because I do not have a downpipe. Um, that is recommended if you're going to stage two. We can talk about that down the road. You have a 91 octane and a 93 octane. I have 93 octane in my area. So I'm gonna be doing the stage one 93 octane. Hop in here, it says get tune. I think that's what we're here to do. Are you sure you'd like to acquire that tune? Yes, sir. That's exactly what I wanna do. Please wait. So it is adding that stage one 93 octane under my maps. Cool, so we have it added and there we go. So you have a stock tune which would essentially just calibrate your car back to stock, and then you have the stage one. And we are going to stage one, you guys. That's what we're doing here. So excited this is happening right now. Also, a uh, quick note, you wanna make sure that if you do not have a very strong battery, you wanna make sure that you check the, um, the charge on your battery. It needs to be fully charged. Make sure you have a strong battery, and if not, highly recommended that you hook your battery up to a charger. Hook it up in the front, though, not the back. So let's go ahead and hit this flash, you guys. Press here to flash now. This will take about 10 to 15 minutes or so, and also it might throw up a bunch of errors. That's part of it, it's just the way it works. So we're just gonna kinda let the computer and boot mode do its thing right now. Success. All right, so it says flash successfully in offline mode. Please turn your ignition off for 20 seconds and then start the car. So we're gonna go ahead and turn it off. Wait those 20 seconds. Let's turn it around. Officially stage one flashed. So it's so simple, like that's what I love about this. It's such an easy process to tune your car. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my. Dude. <laughs> oh my God. Well, first of all, the car sounds different. It sounds much more aggressive. Uh, the exhaust definitely sounds louder, especially when I'm switching gears. And the pulls are violent. This is just a stage one tune, and I'm on 93 octane. I can't imagine, if I do the downpipe in stage two, dude, this car is gonna be relentless. It definitely burbles more too. Wow, dude. <laughs> it's so sick. All right, fifth gear pull. Oh my God. Dude. Oh my. I just got boot mode. I feel dope. So I'm just gonna wax this kid. <laughs> he has a dual exhaust. I 
Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Again, gone. <laughs> That's cool, we gotta race it. So let's try to hear some burbles. Yeah, dude, she's definitely burbling. Oh my, did you guys did you hear that? It's violent. I'm gonna do a little rip right here in first gear. No traction, no traction at all. Boot mode is sick. I'm still in shock because it was so easy. I thought it was gonna be such a difficult process. It was so simple. Like it was so simple that I'm like, did I do it right? <laughs> but I did, cartoon. And uh, man, it feels absolutely so much faster. I 